Hi there. This is Alex. From Essential Web Apps. And, in this Figma tutorial, we will learn how to make buttons by using components and variance function. In the recent Figma update, you can actually make a button one time as your asset with variable property, like small or large, clicked or hovered, with or without icon etc. And, you can change these properties from a simple drop-down box. But before we get into it, we make videos regularly. If you want to see videos like this, please hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for notification. So, let's go to the Figma. First, let's take a frame with a 105 weight and 42 height. Change the color of it to sky blue. Then put a text in it, name it button. Let me just fix the size and color of it. Now, here is the important part. Rename the frames properly. Otherwise, you will not see the properties properly. So, in here, this is a button, so let's type the button, then slash. I can say it's a large button. Slash. It is the primary state of the button. And, icon status is false. Let's add that also. Now, make a copy of it. Let's change the color for the hover state. And, rename the frame from primary to hover. Again, this is important. If you don't do this properly, your property menu will not show up. Make another copy of this. Rename it from hover to pressed. In here, I'm going to add a solid black border. Maybe two pixel thick. I will use this tool here to merge these two rectangles. Give it a darker shade of the body color. And make the layer blur. As you see, it gives a downward shadow, as it is pressed down. Just change the opacity here. Now, let's make another copy. Rename it from press to clicked. Let me just delete the shadow here. And, change the color also. Okay, it looks good now. Now next, let me convert these into component, by clicking here. You can also use this shortcut. Done. Now if you see the asset panel, you will see that these components are sorted here automatically. Now, select these all. And, you will see this. Combine as variants. Click here. And, you will see the asset will convert into a drag and drop single component. And, as you see, because of our proper naming, all the properties appeared properly here. We can rename it as we want. Okay, nice. Now, let's test it with a simple prototyping. Let's take a frame first. And, from the asset panel, just drag and drop the button into the frame. Make four copies of this frame. Now, it is the primary. So, for the second one, I will change the state of the button. As you see, properties appeared here, as we created earlier. Select Hover. Now, change it to Pressed. Finally clicked. Nice. Now, let's make a prototype. First, this button directs it to the second frame and set the interaction to while hovering. Then, for this one, set it to while pressing. And, for this one, just set it to unclick. As it is the default. Done. Let's see it in action. This is the primary state. As we hover on it, it will change color. If we press on it, you will see the shadow on the edge. And, after we click, it will change the color. So, 
Just like this, you can make a button asset just one time in Figma, and use it over and over again. So, there you go. What's else you want to know about Figma? Let me know in the comment section. And, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And, I will see you in the next video.